Hello YouTube! In this video I want to show you a weekly recap of all my characters, so what has changed, who has leveled up, who has gotten gear upgrades and such. So first let's start off with my barbarian. And he leveled up from level 83 to level 86. Usually he's wearing an enigma right here to have enough strength to equip the rest of his gear. But it's currently on another character, you will see later. His main weapon is a Grief face braid. Unfortunately not with the greatest attack speed, but it does just fine on this character, so it's okay. The offhand weapon is a 6 Istrune face braid for huge amount of magic find. And on weapon swap he uses 2 times wizard spike combined with a 10% FCR ring to reach the fastest cast rate breakpoint a barbarian can have just for teleporting around with the enigma. His helm is just a Kira's guardian, mainly for the cannot be frozen. He can't use a raven frost because of the cold damage, because sometimes the corpses of your enemies will shatter and then you can't find item them, so you kind of have to go all without cold damage. And for the amulet I use a high lords, just have increased increased attack speed, one two skills and such. It's a re really good amulet for melee characters. Gloves are just chances for magic find and boots are wardraffs also for magic find. And for the belt I use a Verdangos with 14% DR, which is also nice to just get hit a little bit less. And for the charms I mostly use random magic finds, small charms and some attack rating in life and attack rating in strength and a geats and also to hit the hit recovery breakpoint I use this uh, large charm and this one is also just attack rating in life and I recently got this okay-ish barb torch just to boost his skills a little bit make Warcrys last longer and stuff. And here you can see my Zork. She is still Blizzard Zork. The spec hasn't changed since I made the last video on her. So gear is pretty much the same. Except I think I swapped out Mage Fist for Drangul's Gloves because they have a little more resistance. And now my resistances are a little bit less terrible. And I gave most of the magic find charms to the barbarian, so she's running with 432% magic find on on swap. I have 550 because of the two east blade of Alibaba. Still need to collect two more east runes to make a four east monarch shield to get her up to about 630 or something like that. And she just uses a bunch of random charms to... This one is to <laughs> be able to equip the Alibaba blade. On the next level up I need to put 5 more into Dexterity, but I don't want to use a reskill token just for that, so I use this. And she basically uses all the verse magic find charms that I have. The good ones are in the bar, the bad ones are here. And on my last uh, my last torch run, on my last Uber run, which you will see in the next video, I got a few new torches, unfortunately not a sorceress torch. So this is the last one I'm still missing. I got six six different character torches, but not not Zork. So hopefully next Uber run will grant me one. So next off is my assassin. She is skilled to be a trap sin. So I use the enigma here which is shared between the barb and the assassin. And I wear a lot of pieces like the hodo, um, triangles, this helmet and the spirit shield to reach the assassin breakpoint for fast teleporting. I use a gold wrap belt for increased attack speed 
she uses my PK ring because plus skills is pretty important on, on Trapsin. And the Raven Frost for cannot be frozen. And this random plus three to traps and 34 to life. And also some sandstorm tracks. And a bunch of assorted resistance and life charms and the geats. So she is geared mainly to farm nil effect, but actually she can farm just about anything in this game. So chaos runs, arcane sanctuary, she could farm all the keys, but the uh, sorceress is a little bit faster on summoner and countess. So I usually use the sorceress for that, but for nil effect she's the fastest one I have. Next up on the list is my summoning necromancer. He is wielding a spirit sword and spirit shield. And Kay Hagen's wisdom for an armor is just so I don't have to mule around gear for him. I could use Skaldas or Skin of the Viper Magi or whatever. And he has a 10% FCR necromancer, all resistance. Amulet, a uh, real uh, necromancer helm with all resist, Trangul's gloves and Marowak boots, Marowak boots, and gold wrap for magic find, dwarf star, and just a random resistance ring, bunch of assorted resistance and life charms, a geats, and a necro torch. I don't really do things with him at the moment because he's really slow for farming but maybe if I find some upgrades in the future I will go back to him since he's my first character I used him to farm up gear and once I had a few things I created the sorceress and then basically farmed on her. And this paladin is who I use to run uber tristram and uh, other mini uber bosses so his whole inventory is filled with plus to life and plus to resistances so usually he has the same helmet and grief that my barbarian is using at the moment and also the high lords and with those items and the guardian angel i am pretty much stacked on resistance i have 90 fire 90 cold 90 poison and 95 lightning because of the resist lightning aura because I put 10 points in it I get plus 5 to max resist and recently I got Dracul's gloves so he doesn't have to use the wand anymore to cast life tap but anyway for safety reasons I have it in the offhand uh, ancient splat shield and life tap wand he uses Goa Riders for the Crushing Blow and the Dwarf Star and the Raven Frost for the Absorb and the Cannot Be Frozen and also another Vadango spelt with 11% damage reduction. And also in the last Uber run I finally got a Paradin Torch so now he has his very own little torch. And here is my Javason. She is mainly used for farming cows, so also a bunch of random pieces because the cows aren't actually that strong. Um, 220 rare Javason gloves, random all resist ring with a little bit of magic find, uh, Thunderlord's Vigor for a little bit of lightning absorb and plus two lightning fury lightning strike, and a raven frost who cannot be frozen. Random resistance boots, K uh, Kree Hagen's for also so I don't have to uh, mule my armor around, a Valkyrie wing helmet, and a spirit shield, and the Eye of Atlich as an amulet, and a bunch of random life charms, and also my 1719 Amazon torch, and a faster run walk charm, and a Geats. And for the latest addition to my team, this is my new Fury Druid. So he is always in werewolf form and casts Fury and Feral Rage. 
he at the moment uses a wind hammer because I don't really have a good weapon for him at the moment. A uh, Chalar's Mask with an Amrun for a little bit more resistances. Skin of the Viper Magi just for all res. A Seraph's Him, Goa Riders and Drax. Raven Frost who cannot be frozen and a random all res ring. And a Night Smoke Belt also for all res. So I'm still looking for that good old ethereal Tomb Breaver, but I guess that's a long time goal. He uses a bunch of attack rating and life charms. I like the life charms on, on him because the werewolf form gives a lot of percent max life. And since I don't have a call to arms yet, I get to about 2.5k HP with the Oak Sage, but every every point in, in life I get from charms is basically like three points in reality. So I like to stack a lot of plus life on him. And also he has a somewhat decent Druid Torch 1811. Actually I think I got a better one in this week's Uber runs, which is almost a GG. Druid Torch 2018, which I will replace right now. So he is good on torches at least. And I can sell the other two torches if someone is interested. 1813 Assassin Torch and I also I think I have another Assassin Torch somewhere. And an 1811 Druid Torch. Alright, that's it for the weekly character recap. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and stay tuned for next week's updates. Thanks for watching and bye bye.